Okay, hello, we're back uh, for another week. I've got my mic a little bit closer to me this time, so maybe we'll get a little bit less of the uh, echoes going on in the room. I, uh, weirdly enough, have, like, less to talk about this week. Um, like, training has continued at work. Uh, like, at Polygon. The animation, like, actually getting down to animating stuff has been really satisfying. I haven't had a chance to do a lot of it, but, like, Polygon is known for... Well, at least they've got a few projects where they do this thing... They have, like, 3D models, and it's a 3D animated production, but they try specifically to make it look like 2D. They do uh, what they call a limited animation style, kind of like Guilty Gear does uh, with uh, XRD and with uh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse. It's, it's not, like, quite committed as far as, that, as those games go, because in those games, they straight up don't ever interpolate frames like they just they hand animate every single frame and obviously since it's the game they get to reuse a lot of those things whereas with polygon they're making um like actual animated series so everything has to be done bespoke uh for the shots requirements so basically like what i'm trying to say is that it's it's cool it's really cool getting to animate in a different style like that like a lot of the time in the past my stuff has swords that i'm looking for i felt like my animations feel a little bit too gooey, even after I, like, go through and refine them a bit. I know to add the secondary motion and, like, overlap, and, uh, to always keep something moving, but I seem to do it, like, a little bit too much, and it kind of takes away any of the strong posing that could be going on, but, like, in something where I'm specifically trying to replicate a style where they reuse frames to save costs, it means that I've got like this sort of target to hone in on. You find, you go to that pose and then you just have to hold it. It's actually been really satisfying and it makes for poses that read a lot easier. So, you know, yay, I'm already learning things. Though so, uh, my supervisor got sick today and no word on when they're gonna be back. So I might be kind of just killing time for a little bit here. Uh, nobody, nobody was expecting the person who was gonna be my taskmaster to just uh, peace out of the studio for a while. Work party. Work party was fun. Get, getting to hang out after work with a bunch of drinks in a studio where there's a lot of uh, foreign employees was good. I actually got to chat with people. I found some Japanese people who uh, who speak enough English that we could, like, I, I could switch back to English for tough words and they could switch back to Japanese for tough words and then we could kind of get an understanding as to what we were talking about. Uh, I chatted with a few of the uh, heads of departments of other places. They were very... Uh, heads of the other departments like they were very friendly i think by the end of the night the look dev people wanted to steal me from animation back into their department i shouldn't have told them that i did shader work back at serious labs because now 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 they're they've got me on their radar and i had to leave edmonton so i could go and animate i really don't want them to steal me here uh update on like the personal life stuff here the house has been a little bit better for social interaction there's definitely people around that i can kind of talk to but um, I need to get a lot better at Japanese before I can really get into good conversations. There are people out there that are chatting, but it's usually the girls that are doing it, and the, several of the girls only know Japanese, so it's kind of tough to get in on conversation. Like, I've tried listening to them, and I can pick out individual words, but it's all just going too fast, and I can't make sense of uh, what the whole sentence means, so it's tricky to try and interject or, you know, jump in and contribute to something like that. But I have recommitted to going out to uh, Japanese English meetup groups uh, on the weekend, and that should give me at least a little bit of extra practice. I'm also going to try to watch a few more uh, more animes, because I've had people really recommend a few more to me. And I'm going to go back to Animelon, which is a website where you can watch Japanese uh, animes for free and rewind it for certain lines and they give you like five different levels of subtitles and it's really good for language learning so i'm going through some of polygon's old works on that and then i've got to go through season two of uh, attack on titan and season one of my hero academia and they don't have a bunch of new stuff but there's the beginnings of some really good series in there there's not really a whole lot going on um more grocery shopping more being unable to read stuff at the grocery store i've been here for like three weeks i still haven't actually had any sushi or gone out for sushi or i haven't even found a place that sells a beef bowl yet i found the chicken nuggets i found mcdonald's and i found that they will sell you combos without the drink here it's not just buying two things you can buy fries and the nuggets and they'll make them a combo with a discounted price and there's no soda involved and i'm like 
finally, finally, these guys get me here. I finished up Sekiro. This is just stream stuff. I finished up Sekiro finally. I got um, the Steam remote play working with Shawnee so we can play some more River City Girls. Fire Emblems in two weeks. Looking forward to that. I have uh, an internship party this weekend coming up here too. So hopefully I'll be able to uh, make a few more game friends and make some plans to go out. Oh, right. Also on the weekend uh, with the work friends, I went out to the Ueno Park National Science Museum. That was fun. There's like so many new bits of uh, archaeology tidbits, I'm sure, because I went through the dinosaur stuff and the T-Rex skeleton that they had had another set of bones on it. It had a second rib cage, and I don't understand what was going on, and I couldn't read the Japanese, so I couldn't be properly outraged at it. And yeah, no, just, just a good time. And then we went out for ramen. Yeah, uh, with a bunch of the other foreign workers. So uh, we were speaking with a Chinese guy who's been uh, through some of the Hong Kong protests. Uh, there's a French, uh, French girl who like has done uh, work with the company who animated uh, Mario plus Rabbids, so that was really cool. I haven't found like a good partner to go out drinking with yet. That's that's a thing that's got to happen. But anyways, I'm gonna wrap this up because the longer these things take, like I don't do a lot of editing, but I do do some chopping up, and I don't ever want these things to run over ten minutes because then it's just it's just getting into blah 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 word salad. Nobody tossed me any questions last week, but I'll drop another reminder. If anybody does have any questions for me or wants me to try and find some info for them, let me know down in the comments below, and uh, I'll see if I can grab you an answer by next week. All right? Doodles.